Okay, cool. So yeah, as I said, I just wanted to get you guys get you guys all on the line um, at the same time, just so I can talk you through what we're going to do with regard to training, because you guys are all doing the the challenge Weymouth half. Um, for a lot of you, it's going to be well, well. I think for all of you, in fact, it's going to be your first. Well, most of you, sorry, it's going to be your first triathlon. It's the first one you're planning at the moment. We're actually going to get you to do a couple before then. Um, just two two Ironmans. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, we're going to get you to do a couple of races before that. So, but anyway, what I wanted to do is. Is hook you guys up and and help you out on a program, um, you know, just like I do with like my uh, you know the, the other guys I train basically. So I just wanted to you know, seeing as seeing as there's got gonna be sort of like four, probably five, six of you guys all doing the same race. Um, I'm just gonna basically get you guys all doing the same program, um, which, which which is fine, and 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 that'll allow us to kind of build everything up ready for ready for that race day. Um, what I wanted to do is just show you. Uh, the actual periodization for the for the program, all right, and this will actually just give you a bit of an idea about how things are going to go. Because when you when you're training for like a big event like this, and and it, it is a big event, it's uh you know you you're going to be out there for anything from probably I'd guess probably from like five to you know seven eight eight and a half hours, you know. Um, Potentially, so you know it's it's a long fucking day, so I wanted to just kind of talk you through how we're going to get you there, okay? Because obviously, you know, you guys are starting off from different fitness levels. Um, you, most of you have got like li well little or zero experience in in terms of actual triathlon training, so I just wanted, to, as I said, just give you a, give you a little idea of um, how we're going to get you, where we're going to get you. Uh, so we we'll just have a little look at the periodization plan, as I said. And for some reason, it's just put the wrong fucking dates in there, which is a pain in the ass. But that, that doesn't matter. You'll obviously be starting from this week here, okay? Which is the week commencing the twentieth. So we're actually going to start things on on Monday, okay? In in terms of this, um, now that very first week, it's it's kind of like a bit of a it's like a prep slash test week, all right? Uh, and in that week, we're going to. Um, Going to get you guys doing a swim test. Uh, we'll get you doing like a little run test, uh, and, and we may end up getting you to do some sort of bike test as well. Okay, uh, and then we, we can kind of use that data and, and kind of work with it as as we kind of progress through the program. What you'll see here is we've got a load of loads and loads and loads of time in what's called a base phase. Okay, in that phase we're actually going to be building up your base base levels of fitness, base levels of endurance. Okay, predominantly like aerobic endurance work with it within that first the first phase there. Okay, so you know uh, enabling you to you know gain some sort of decent level of fitness on the bike and in the pool and out on your feet running as well. Okay, so within this first kind of phase here, certainly the the, the base one, there's not going to be anything that's too intense. Okay, you know. You guys have got what you'll have thirty four weeks or thereabouts um, up until up to up to race day. So you know we don't want to go and pedal to the metal to start off with, which is why we we periodize everything. Okay, so yeah, this first few weeks here, it's probably like 10, 12 weeks. That's going to be building up that that base level of fitness really. Um, we have a transition week here, okay, which is basically where we're going to be going from the base phase into the build phase, okay, which is where shit gets harder. Um, and what I've scheduled there is actually a sprint triathlon as well. Now, there's, there's, there's what I've, what I've done with all the races I've scheduled you guys. Okay, so these ones here, they're all ones from Busting Skin, so they're all local ones, so you can get out and bang them out. If there's other races you want to do, then absolutely fine. Um, but you know, th this is the dates that I'm going to be working on on the program, uh, and it just makes it nice and easy if you wanted to do some of these races. Even if you don't do the races, or like you know, you can't do all of them or whatever, then. Those days there'll be an there'll be an alternative. For instance, if like you can't do this race to the bill here, which is an Olympic distance, which is like a fifteen hundred meter swim, forty k bike, and a ten k run, on that day instead of doing that race, I'll literally get you to do a forty k bike and a ten k run off the back of it. Okay, um, similar over here as well, uh, and, and and on that one uh, there as well. Okay, so that's basically how we're how we're planning out the the, the races. Okay, I said this build phase of training here, so the build one and then build two. There, that's actually where things get quite a lot harder. We really kind of work on your on your strength um, and, and and power kind of comes into play a little bit more there. Okay, so from sort of like uh, end of April, start of May, right the way through to through to, you know game time in in September. Okay, now this race here, there's actually a half Ironman distance race and there's an Olympic distance race. Uh, I know Mike at least wants to do a half distance race before he actually does the his big one. 
um, which is also the same distance at the end of the at the end of the season there. Um, so there'll be an option there to you know try you know test the water and, and have a go at a half, or you can do like an Olympic distance again, which is like one of the you know the the fifteen hundred forty k and ten k. Okay, so that's 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 how I've scheduled everything. All right. Um, and in terms of how we're going to coach everything, um, I'll, I'll kind of take you through that in a minute. But basically, what what you guys want to be doing, or what we want to get you doing, is you know, around about three of each every week. Okay, so three swims, three bikes, three runs. All right, um, and that that that's going to do you absolutely fine. For those of you who are good at swimming, for instance, it might be that you only do two swims a week initially when you're trying to you know start fitting everything in. Okay, um, and rather than yeah, rather than do the three swims, you might just do the two so that you can kind of you know you got a bit more time to fit in the bike work or the run work or whatever. Um, those of you who are you know, you know maybe good at running. It might be that you you end up dropping down to two run sessions a week, so you can focus on your swimming. If you currently you swim like a like a lead balloon, okay. Um, but basically, we want to look. I said around about three of each each week. All right. So yeah, three swims, three bikes, three runs. Um, in terms of how I'll actually deliver it to you guys, it'll be a bit like this. This is uh, an Ironman program which we're delivering to to a few guys training for Ironman and Nice, okay, in France. So it'll all be mapped out for you um, in terms of the days. Um, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna individualize this. Um, as I said, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you basically the best structure, and you're gonna fit it in as best you can. Okay. So, for instance, the same the program you guys will get will you know it will for instance say Monday swim and it will detail your swim session and then you might have like a run as well and it will detail your run session on Tuesday it'll be whatever and then Wednesday bang 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 and I said you guys will just try and fit that in with with your life as best you can because you guys all got obviously different lives and schedules so you know you, you're going to end up doing things ever so slightly differently which is fine in terms of your strength and conditioning work because obviously you guys are all working with us in the studio then you know that you know that will get factored in there as well so some of you are in twice a week some of you are in three days a week that's you know either one is absolutely fine um, we just make sure we schedule that in there okay um, every week certainly from about the sort of, sort of third or fourth week you'll have what's called a brick session okay which is a bike straight into a run session okay um, in fact oh, that's this session he's got here yes yeah, so you've got like a bike session and then you then you run off the back of it okay that's something that'll be a that'll be a key session every single week um, those sessions won't last for hours and hours and hours but it's really important for us to get you used to actually running off the bike because uh, obviously it's a freaking triathlon and that's one of the big things which you are going to have to do um, in terms of the distances and the times which you'll end up training for on on the program um, as I said we're trying to hit each one like three times a week. Swim sessions you can get nailed in like you know I'll, I'll give you guys sessions which can take you know anything from thirty to forty five minutes. There might be some which are a little bit longer, but you don't really need to be going any longer than about forty five minutes generally. Um, if any of you go master sessions, like I know Nick, you, uh, you you go to master sessions, um, then that's obviously fine as well. So whatever swim session I give you, you know you can always sacrifice one of those to go to masters club. That's absolutely cool. Um, so it's all good. So as I said everything's going to get mapped out for you. Um, in terms of bike training, so far as I know, everyone's got a bike, which is a good start. Um, and you know the you know, you know, that obviously is going to be mapped out for you as well. Those of you who have got a turbo trainer, that's going to be an essential bit of kit. And in fact, I think everyone's got a turbo. Uh, I think Verity, you said you're going to buy one, so that's all good. And I think everyone else actually got one. Maybe Dan's not got one, but there's one in the studio. Biatch, so you can always use that if you need to. Because, um, yeah, that'll, that'll be pretty key. Something like a turbo trainer is real important. It's real good if, uh, you know, for instance, on those brick sessions, because you can literally just bang your bike session out you know, for an hour, hour and 15, whatever it would take straight out of there, chuck your shoes on, then just get outside and run and, and you know it's a pretty nice easy way to do it and a good way of getting some intensity in there. Okay. So that's that's how your program will look or thereabouts, all right. Um in terms of run sessions, what you find is you have excuse me, you'll have one like slightly longer session each week, which might be up to about an hour, um, you know, as as we get on to the you know, end of the first kind of month or two. Um You'll have an interval-based workout in there, which might be intervals one week, and it might be hill reps another week. And then your third run will actually be the run off the bike. So, for instance, you know your, your third run there, yeah, you probably only be running for like 15 minutes to start off with, and then we'll build that up and build it up and build it up until you're running probably for maybe like uh, up up to about an hour off the bike will probably be the longest one. I get you guys to do training for the half. Um, 
because once you can do that, then then you should be fine for for the rest of it. But that, my friends, is that, and and, and that's what we're going to do. What I'm actually going to kind of plan on to do is, is actually giving you this program sort of four weeks at a time. Okay, um, where if I'm super organised, I'll give it to you in each different phase. So, for instance, the base one, you get all like six weeks or whatever, and, and, and we'll kind of run through it like that. But you basically get a chunk of training, and then you'll crack on with it. Um, then you get the next chunk of training, and you'll crack on with that. All right, and that is that. Um, I'm just gonna have a look at the questions box. Ah, Nick's there, good stuff. You guys who are on the, I tell you what, I, I should be able to unmute everyone like individually. So what I'll do, I'll just individually just unmute you guys. And if you've got any questions or anything, then you can you can ask me. Um, if any of you are like techno tards, then then don't worry about it. But uh, Smithy boy, I'll just un, unmute you quickly. And if you've got anything, just far away. Hopefully you should be able to talk. You there, boy? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, uh, got... I don't think I've really got any questions at the moment. Lush. All right, bugger off. All right, uh, Quans, I'll just unmute you quickly. See if he can master it. I know Sarah couldn't get on it the other day. Could, can you hear me and talk, Quans, or not? No, techno tard. Uh, right, Nicholas, we'll see if you are. You must be technical wizard. Yeah, I'm here, mate. Ah, there he is. Yeah, you got any questions on any of that, mate? Yeah, no, mate. I think there's a Weymouth Masters I do on Saturday morning, so I might be doing... Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's absolutely fine. As I said, like everyone, you know, the 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 what I'll send you is like the the, the best option, basically, or as I see it, the best option for the training. And I said, what you guys would do is just get it as close to that as possible. So if you do a masters on a Saturday morning, then that's absolutely fine. Mate. Yeah, no dramas. All right. Well, have a cheers for that. Tip top. All right, I'll get rid of you and Verity. I don't know if she's on the line or not, but I'll take you off mute. Can you talk, Verity, or not? No, I don't. I think she's on the train. Lush. All right, that'll do, guys. Um, yeah, so look, hopefully that has given you a bit of an insight into what we're going to be cracking on with. As I said, from Monday, we're going to start this. So tomorrow, you guys will actually get emails your first month or, or sort of six weeks. Um, and then we will be cracking on from there. All right, so look, cheers for getting on the line. Uh, I've done that in 13 and a half minutes, which is, which is pretty cool. So enjoy the rest of your weekend, dudes, and I will catch you on the flip side. Take it steady. Bye-bye. The organizer has ended the session and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye.